Hello students, this video is in continuation with the first video of rounding off numbers. In this video, we will learn how to round off numbers to the nearest hundred. In the previous video, we had done how to round off numbers to the nearest ten. Alright, so first we have the number 156. Now we have to see this 156, this number is closer to which hundred? Is it closer to 100? Is it closer to 200 or 300? Or which 100? It is nearest to which 100? Now children, 156, I am writing here, is just for understanding, 156 lies between 100 and 200. 156 lies between 100 and 200. And children, 156 is closer to 200. It is closer to 200. But here I told you the answer quite directly. How will you get to know this number is closer to, it is nearest to which hundred? Alright, though you can write the numbers in between, there will be many numbers, but it will take a lot of time. So we will learn some steps and then we will be able to do this question quite quickly. Children, for rounding of number to the nearest hundred, you have to look at the digit at the tens place. You have to look at the digit at the tens place. As I told you in the previous video, to round off numbers to the nearest 10, to round off numbers to the nearest 10, you look at one's digit. Here, you are rounding off numbers to the nearest 100. So, you have to look at the digit at the tens place, the one before it. If the digit at the tens place, I am just underlining all these digits. So, if the digit at the tens place is less than 5, like here, alright, like here. If the digit at the tens place is less than 5, you make the tens and ones digit 0. You make the tens and ones 0. I'll just do the C part first. If the digit at the tens place is less than 5, you make the tens digit and ones digit 0. And the other digits remain same. So here 412 is closer to 400. Let me come to the E part. For rounding off to nearest 100, you have to look at the digit at the tens place. If the digit at the tens place is less than 5, you make the digit a tens and ones digit 0, like here, 0. And you, uh, the other digits remain same. Okay. Now, what if the digit at the tens place is 5 or more than 5? Like here it is 5, here it is more than 5. So, here also, when the digit at the tens place is 5 or more, I'll just do the A part first. For example, if the digit at the tens place is 5, you make the tens and ones 0, just like the previous uh, questions. But, when it is 5 or more, you add 1 in the hundreds digit. You add 1 in the hundreds digit. So here it is 1. So 1 plus 1. It will be 2. So your 156, the number 156 is near to 200. Let's try the B part. Here the digit at the tens place is more than 5. So you make tens and ones 0. And add 1 in the hundreds digit. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. Let's try one more part. D part. Again we are rounding off the number to the nearest 100. So look at the digit at the tens place. Here it is more than 5. Make tens and ones 0. And add 1 in the hundreds place. Whenever it is tens digit is 5 or more. 5 or more. You add 1 in the hundreds digit. One last question I am doing, that is the I part. The rest of the parts, children, you can try yourself. Here, the I part, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Again, we have to, uh, again, we have to round off this number to the nearest hundred. So, we will look at the digit at the tens place. It is more than five. So, we will make tens and ones zero. We will make tens and ones zero and add one in the hundreds place. Now here 100 space is 9, 9 plus 1, it is 10. So you will carry over 1 here, 49 will become 50. So 4,990 is nearest to, near to 5,000. 
okay this is 50 hundred please try the rest of the questions with the same step for nearest hundred look at the tens digit for nearest tens look at the ones digit thank you